We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching, marching to Zion, that beautiful city of God. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful Zion, we're marching, marching to Zion, that beautiful city of God. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, our brothers and our sisters from around the world, Father, we continue to march to Zion, that beautiful city of God. Father, we thank you for giving us the stamina to continue in this fight, continue in this march, continue in this struggle. We thank you, Father, for giving us a reasonable portion of help. You've been better to some of us than we've ever thought about being to ourselves. We thank you, Lord, for continuing to lead, for continuing to guide, for continuing to strengthen us through this march. Father, right now someone is going through something, a cancer, an addiction, an affliction. Someone has something they're going through. We ask that you eradicate it right now as only you can do. And we ask this in the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. We'll be sure to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise for you and you alone are worthy to be praised. I ask that now the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, my Lord and my Redeemer, I ask these and all of these things in your son, Yahshua, Jesus Christ's name. Amen, amen, and amen. This morning, I'll continue to be brief in these short messages but I want you to remember, my brothers and sisters, the faith of a mustard seed is all we must have. The faith of a mustard seed is all we must have. Christ told us this. He said that if you had the faith of a mustard seed, you could say to the mountain, move, and the mountain would be moved. Many times as he spoke to the disciples, he said, ye of little faith, oh ye of little faith. We've got to have the faith of a mustard seed today, my brothers and sisters. So many of our brothers and sisters are walking around with their heads down. Where's your faith? Where is your faith in God? Let us call upon the word. Look with me in this book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter of Hebrews. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. I want you to remember that. The elders obtained a good report. Look back in the history books, my brothers and sisters. Look back as far as God has brought us. We gained a good report and we proved that through faith we can move mountains. Look at the Israelites in bondage for over 400 years. I continue to reference that. Look at African Americans in bondage for over 400 years. I continue to reference that. When you forget about God, you don't have faith. But when you remember the faith of our brothers and our sisters of past and present, God shows you 
that he will pour you out blessings that you will not have room enough to receive. Through faith, we understand that the world's framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Don't get it twisted. We see a lot of things going on in the world today and we can correlate that with this word here. God has told us that everything that we see is not the things that will always be. Everything that we see are not the things that will always be. We walk by faith and not by sight. If we walk by sight, we will falter. But if we walk with the Lord, we keep our eyes on the prize. God is a strong deliverer. And he continues to deliver his people who are called by his name. Don't worry about what's going on in the world. Do what God has called you to do. Don't worry. Turn from his word neither to the left nor the right. And he will give you sight. He will give you vision. Not worldly vision, but godly vision. The God we serve is a God who's always on time. Eyes have not seen, ears not heard, nor heart understand the things that God has in store for those who truly love him. Continue to love, continue to lift, continue to gift one another, and God will continue to take you places you never thought you could go. The faith of a mustard seed is all we need. The faith of a mustard seed is all we need. That mustard seed that Jesus referred to, that mustard seed that our Lord and Savior Joshua referred to, is a seed that produces one of the greatest, one of the strongest trees. And that tree cannot be moved. Though the storms and hurricanes of the world come, that tree stands strong. That tree stands firm. That tree stands victorious. That tree is you. That tree is me. When we lean not toward the ways of the world, but to the ways of our Lord, know that. Claim that. And until next week, keep the victory in sight. And remember, the mustard seed of faith is all we need. The reason that I have written Victory in Sight is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all. And then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great. I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone. No evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow. I will 